Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Home Developments. This company based in Australia manufactures various products including this trigger kit I will be installing today. If you're looking for a trigger kit that doesn't involve messing with anything timing related, this is for you. Components needed for this installation is two K-series camshaft position sensors that need to be 21 millimeters in length, as well as the distributor cam drive, retaining clip, pin, and the shim. You will also need two cam sensor pigtails to wire to your ECU. First thing you want to do, get some oil, lube up the O-ring. Then you're going to take your retaining shim. I got the clip all the way over already. Snap it down until it locks in place. So with this cam drive, you could be 180 out or you could have a camshaft where the cam drive fits in one way and the other and you could possibly be 180 out so it's all going to be trial and error so go ahead and put your sensors on Go ahead and look at your cam drive, line it up. See, that's backwards. I can see it by the way it's going in. So I actually had to take a rubber mallet and actually tap mine in because the O-ring was so fresh. So you get it lined up, mounting tab facing at the top. Put your standard distributor bolt in. Go ahead and tighten that down. Now something that you wanna know is the trigger is facing the firewall so I went ahead and labeled my, my pigtails. The home is facing out on the cap towards the shock tower. So trigger and home. As far as wiring, you have three wires. From the rear of the connector with the tab facing up, left is your signal wire. Middle is your ground. Right is your 12 volts. Look up an ECU pinout for whatever engine management you are using. Take your trigger signal wire and connect it to the appropriate wire on your ECU. Take your home signal wire connected to the appropriate wire on your ECU. Connect your cam sensor grounds either to the trigger and home ground on your ECU or to the chassis. Connect your 12 volts to an ignition source that is powered by key. Make sure it is a source that has constant power while cranking. Now it's time to update your trigger settings. Here is Home Development's general settings as well as the Link ECU settings found on their website. I'm using the Haltech Elite NSP software for my 1500. Trigger setup is a generic multi-tooth single home. Trigger location is on the cam. 
number of teeth is eight. Both signal sensor types are Hall Effect. Both signal edge type is falling. You want to enable the pull up on both of them. It may light the strong setting. You will need to start out with your TDC angle at 109 degrees, but you'll need a timing light to dial it in.